Conor McGregor is the best trash talker in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. When he's done fighting, many people would love to see him commentate for the UFC. That Irish accent is pure gold and he makes sure he never loses in a bout of trash talking. In today's video, we bring you 10 of Conor McGregor's funniest moments in MMA. Number 10. I would not want to face me either. On the late night show with Conan O'Brien, McGregor showed us how funny he could be. Conan talked about the fight with Jose Aldo, which Aldo backed out due to a rib injury. Aldo had dared cleared to fight by a doctor, but he still pulled out. Conan asked McGregor what he thought about that. McGregor said, I mean, the man is running scared. I cannot force a man who is not willing to fight. I cannot force him into the octagon to face me. Really, I cannot hold any grudge towards him because I would not want to face me either. The crowd broke into applause and laughter. He went on to say that he was going to destroy Jose Aldo. Trust McGregor to never back out of a fight. Number 9. He's not the best looking guy. Conor McGregor had something to say when Cole Miller asked him to beat his ass before he could move up the ladder. McGregor didn't waste any time sullying Miller's look on a show saying he's a tall American. He's experienced. He's been around the game a long time. He's not the best looking guy. I wanted a better looking guy, but it is what it is. McGregor called Miller ugly when the show anchor asked him why he wanted a better looking opponent. It's a shame we didn't see two of them fight. Miller had a bow out due to injuries. Number 8. You look like you've had a stroke. During the UFC 194 featherweight championship promotion, a reference was made to Jose Aldo's fight against Chad Mendes. McGregor jumped in, saying that Aldo was the turtle at the end of that fight. When Aldo fought Mendes, the latter rearranged his face as far as he was concerned. McGregor said Aldo hadn't as far as he was concerned but looked right since then. In his words, after that five round match, which arguable could have went to him, you look like you've had a stroke. The left side of your face is drooping. I'm worried about you. Honestly, I'm worried. McGregor wasn't worried, but the way he feigned concern was amusing. Number 7. Nate can only count to 10. McGregor and Nate Diaz appeared on Jane Wells' CBNC program to promote UFC 196. It took about 10 seconds for McGregor to announce that he would be taking control of the segment and Nate Diaz could bring him his coffee. From there onward, the interview only got better. Wells tried to break the tension and calm both men by asking them to count down to 10. But McGregor, in his usual cheerful self, laughed and said Nate can only count to 5. That phrase just gets us every time. He didn't stop there. McGregor went on to talk about the amount of money Nate won in his last fight, saying he tipped the fighter. Nate Diaz couldn't take it anymore and he stormed out of the interview. Number 6. Ronda Rousey couldn't keep a straight face. McGregor was asked who was the strongest martial artist between Ricardo, Frankie, and Chad during a UFC promotion. He said Frankie was an aging competitor who was on the downside of his career. He said he looked 95 years old and Ronda Rousey, who was sitting right in front of McGregor, was doing all she could to not burst into laughter. She couldn't keep a straight face. She ended up bursting into laughter. You just have to admire how he talks when he holds the microphone. It is hilarious. Number 5. Who the F is that guy? At a UFC promotion, a reporter asked McGregor who he thinks would give him the hardest fight out of anybody on the stage. McGregor was still thinking about his answer when Jeremy Stephens interrupted, shouting, Right here, right here, the hardest hitting 145 pounder is right here. He went on to say that McGregor TKO's people, but when he knocks people out, they don't move. When Conor McGregor would speak, he retorted, Who the f is that guy? The crowd roared in applause and laughter. Number 4. Midget German Steroid Head Dennis Siver said the only thing Conor McGregor could do was talk. A lot of people say that, but McGregor showed that he could do more than talk when he won by TKO at UFC Fight Night 59. When reporters asked Conor McGregor if he had any thoughts on Dennis Siver, McGregor replied, My thoughts on Dennis Siver is he's a midget German steroid head. We have no idea what McGregor meant by that, and we doubt if he knew what he was saying too. But it was hilarious. Number 3. Invading Aldo's Favela on Horseback During the press conference for McGregor's match against Jose Aldo, McGregor displayed one of his funniest moments. Jose Aldo had called himself the king while calling McGregor the Joker. McGregor replied saying, I own this town. I own Rio de Janeiro. 
If this were a different time, I would invade his favela on horseback and kill anyone that was not fit to walk. But we are in a new time, so I'll whoop his ass in July. Number 2. Don't talk about money, you are broke. Nate Diaz told McGregor he should be thankful he got a bigger check since he's fighting Dos Anjos. McGregor replied saying, don't talk about money, you're broke. He went on to say that he could easily switch Nate Diaz out and put him back on his $20,000 paycheck. McGregor's effrontery and audacity in the UFC is unmatched. Number 1. The Apology McGregor had spoken about winning two belts and he made good on his word by beating Alvarez to stupor three minutes into the second round. After the win, he took the microphone. He said, I've ridiculed everyone on this roster. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd just like to take this time to apologize. After adding a dramatic pause, to absolutely nobody, the double champ does what the fuck he wants. Are you satisfied with our picks? Feel free to give us your opinions on the comments section. If you have enjoyed watching this video, smash the like button, subscribe, and toggle the notification bell so you can stay updated about more top 10 content.